Okay, which are the four sets of material? Ladies and gentlemen, the first set we're going to go through, first of all, is this. Uh, it's called the 10-year analysis. Second set of material will be this. It's called the practical theory, all right? Chemistry, practical uh, lab skills itself, all right? And then after that is the topic-specific revision. That's the third set, all right? And after which, this will be what we'll be doing, the planning question, right? Remember, there is a five to four to six marks planning question. It's all theory, all right? No hands-on is something whereby you can prepare ourselves as much as we can, all right? So today, once again, we will start here, okay? Officially, let's get going. Uh, last person on site can hear me. Can I loud and clear? Huh? Thank you very much. If not, then let me know. I put on the MSME mic. I'm going without the mic. Okay, here we go, all right? So according to the SEAB, which is Singapore Examination Assessment Board, uh, these are the things that all level students, they say, you must know. Have you ever gone through this list before on your own? Have you seen this before? Something is wrong if your teacher never showed you this. Because this is what you're tested. They say, all right? Here we go. Number one, titration, okay? Uh, titration can be these few types of titration. Uh, it has a few types. Acid-based titration, everyone know. Acid-based, you always need a suitable indicators. What are the different indicators they, they use? All right, common one, which is non-toxic, methyl orange, used to have a lot more, but they remove it because it causes cancer. All right, which is toxic, like, causes cancer. They're carcinogenic. Methyl orange, screen methyl orange, and these days, O-level students, these, I think, have been coming out quite often. Thymophotalin, all right? which I personally never used before last time, all right? So there's a lot of uh, indicators. Now, first question is always, do we need to memorize the color change of indicators? Yes or no? I'll be running this, okay? Huh? Now, I was looking at the paper for the last few years. Apparently, don't need to memorize the color. Why? Because the question where I show you later, they'll tell you what's the color change, all right? Okay, very simple. How many of you, your teachers tell you, must memorize the color change of, say, methyl orange or thymophotalin? Raise hand, online, on-site, come. Your teacher say you must memorize the color. Raise, it's okay. Because some schools say really must memorize. Come, hold it there for a while. Just on site, I talk a lot. How come never raise ready? You see, I thought you raised hand. All right, thank you. One, two, three, four. IGCC, okay. Four. All right, online, anyone? Online, none. Okay. Now, uh, again, uh, those who I raised hand, right? I'm not sure. All right. Uh, again, why I say I'm not sure? Because I don't think it's required. Okay. But if you can memorize, you feel safer. Lah. Make sense? But you don't memorize wrongly and they later do wrongly. You read the question, which I'm very sure they'll tell you the instruction on the color change. Okay. Nah? So it's not required. So this is acid based titration. All right. And next. Uh, other types of titration may also be required where appropriate sufficient working details will be given. So you can have other types of titration. Can someone tell me besides acid-based titration, what could be another kind of titration? Anyone? Very good. Redox titrations. Remember redox reaction? So you have an oxidizing agent reacting with a reducing agent. Okay, can I? All right, so these are the two common types of titration which we'll discuss later. Next up is your speed of reaction, also known as your rate of reactions. Now, this might involve measuring the quantities. What could they ask you to measure, my friend? They could ask you to measure in terms of temperature, all right, in terms of volume, in terms of length. Never see before, but they say can. This official document, huh? in terms of mass, in terms of obviously time. Okay? Speed, always time on. So this is fixed. All right, we shall later talk a lot more. All right, though this is, tell you what is the requirement. Next, you will also be tested on separation techniques, such as what? You have a lot of them, seven to eight of them, depending on which schools, all right? So simple paper chromatography, filtration, distillation, so on and so forth. Yes, a lot more, of course. Such as means there can be a lot more. So all these will be tested. You'll be also tested on what? On salt preparation, the three methods of making salt. You'll also be tested on gas collection. What about gas collection? All right, collect the gas. All right, which we will later run through very quickly. Okay, so candidates will not be required. Take note, you don't need to carry out the drawing of gases during practical examination. Again, this is for O-level students. If it come out, then uh, you ask your parents, if they're lawyer, then go find MOU, okay? But they still win. Uh. They always win, right? But they will find you very troublesome because the official document, uh, you will not be tested out uh, on drawing of gases, all right? As a hands-on. Those are for other syllabus, check whether you will be, all right? It's okay, just check with your lecturer or your teacher. Okay, huh? so what else they will test you? Obviously, your what? Qualitative inorganic analysis, your QA. All right, which will involve whatever come out and they'll link it to, oh, do you think it's an element compound mixture? It will be any one of them, no problem. The substance given to you can be an element, can be a compound, or it can be a mix, sure. And of course, everyone know when we talk about QA, we're very familiar with this, correct? Oh, the QA table. Qualitative analysis, so reaction of cations, reaction of anions, and the test for gases. Correct? Or the QA topic. 
But other things that you test over here link to QA. Listen now, huh? in your QA, a question say question two. Yeah, you read that it is QA, right? You always draw boxes, right? Then you look at it. Oh, got the table, very long table is QA. Then you keep thinking the QA uh, is really QA, right? The whole question, question two. 10 marks, 12 marks. It's on cation, anion, and gases. Bang. Along the way, and they won't tell you one. So you need to know, ladies and gentlemen, in the QA question, you will also be tested on what? On displacement reaction inside there. And they will not tell you it's displacement. Anyone told you that before? You've seen it. It's just that nobody blurted it out, I believe. Correct? Because they give you the answer and they don't discuss. Okay, now? Make sense? Correct now. QA, the experiment is I got unknown powder, I got unknown solution, I put there. Make sense? How you know it's cation, anion, gas? It may not be. It could be displacement reaction. Someone want to shout online, want to type? What kind of displacement reaction are we talking about? Sorry? Very good. It could be a metal displacement reaction. All right, a metal displacement reaction. It could also be what reaction? Go. It can be very good. Pure table group tram. It could be your group 17, your halogen displacement reaction. Make sense? Also, beware, everyone, okay? So at least you know what's happening. The question will give you enough, so-called the question, I'll give you clues that you know whether it's metal displacement or halogen displacement. Or in the questions later, follow up the theory, practical theory, they'll ask you, what kind of reaction is that? All right? Then you know, oh, it's either metal or halogen displacement. Now, besides that, also in the QA question itself, it will be in the QA one, all right? Because to test this, I cannot set one question, 10 marks on it. It doesn't make sense. It will be this, which is your test for your oxidizing and reducing agents. Everyone, okay? So once again, in the QA question, the table, long, long one, out of nowhere, they will add something in. All right, then what happened? And then they'll ask you, what is it? Basically, it's a redox reaction happening. So what you have added is either oxidizing or reducing agent. And what you're testing on is the opposite, of course. All right. So in case no one tell you, let me show you and I'll tell you first. Later, I think I can show. Okay, ready? Now, um, all level students, once again, candidates, candidates would not be required to carry out tests involving sulfur dioxide. Remember gas, you got a couple of gas. The common gas, you test the six of them, right? So one, uh, hydrogen gas. Number two, um, your oxygen gas. So these are all the common gases, right? Three, carbon dioxide. This one got no color, no smell, right? Then the fourth gas will be your ammonia. Fifth is your chlorine. And last, not in any order, uh, last but is your SO2. So these are the six gases commonly tested in QA. For all level students, these are the six. Now, so what happened is over here, I always tell students, these four, or rather these three gases, they are what, very smelly, choking, right? So it's called pungent gas. So in the practical, when you smell something pungent, usually, usually the heat rate is very high. One. Once I see it's pungent, right? I smell. I'm pretty sure, in fact, 99% of time is ammonia. Yeah? And I'm pretty sure it will never be SO2 in a practical hands-on. Why? They say here, not required. And why is it not required? Because SO2 is considered a toxic gas. So they will not let you run this experiment. Chlorine is a bleaching agent. By right, chlorine also not very good. But apparently, according to this official document, A, chlorine can also be tested. So my question online on, on site, there's a lot of schools here. All sec 4, right? Sec 3, sec 4, been doing all this since QA, sec 3, right? You're not early sec 4. Have anyone here done experiment whereby you test the gas is chlorine? The sample size is very big. I would like to know. Anyone? Can you recall anyone? Anyone test for chlorine gas before? Anyone? Have? Not sure. Okay, anyone? Don't have, huh? Okay, that's why I say the heat rate is very low. So when I smell pungent gas, first thing, I think 99% of the time is ammonia. Have I okay? Can I? Chlorine very unlikely. But now be careful. It could just be chlorine. Because why? The official documents say chlorine is not excluded. Okay, carry on and tell you what will be tested. Uh, reactions involving ions not included. Oh, this one. Okay, again, uh, nobody know, right? Reactions not involving ions, that is what? Yeah, reaction involving ions, this is the beauty. Not included in the notes for QA. Please take note, may also be tested. In such cases, in such cases, right, what do you do? 
candidates will not be expected to identify ions. They will never ask you what the ion because the ion is not part of your ion list. But only to draw conclusion of a general nature. Like example, they ask you what's observation. Are you with me? All right. And maybe they ask you, oh, is it the redox reaction? Is it acting oxidizing or reducing agent and whatnot? So let me give you an idea. I'm looking at it for 16 years. All right. But I call this a 10-year analysis. All right. It's more than 10 years already. I didn't change the name. Okay. So where is it? Okay. I can share with you. Uh, this came out here in, of course, I won't remember. Example, uh, it came out before. In not too long ago, ladies and gentlemen, in O level Pure Chem 2022, paper three. This came out. What came out? All right. They asked you to do this. Can I use a different color so it's clearer? Uh in say uh, uh orange. Can I see orange? All right. Uh what happened? They asked you to add addition of sodium hydroxide. We all know we add sodium hydroxide to test for metal ion, cation. Okay. But the identity was who? They never tell you. It was the unknown ion. The ion was Mn2+, manganese. Do you have manganese in your syllabus? No. You don't test for manganese. But they add manganese ion. So what were you expected to answer? Is the observation. Observe what? The PPT of color. PPT of the color of PPT, basically. Observe. Or produce. All right, please remind yourself. Huh? So when you do, it may not always be on that seven cations in your syllabus. And then the question come out. It, it looks very cute, like the color. What color we don't have? Maybe pink. Make sense? Then if pink, then you, you then go crazy. Nothing crazy. It's just that the ion and therefore the metal hydroxide, the precipitate form, is not in your syllabus. Are you with me, everyone? So what do you need to write? You still need to write, okay, you form a pink PPT and later will or will not dissolve in excess of sodium hydroxide. Am I okay? All of a sudden, practical two weeks time, huh? you should be plus minus preparing already. Huh? If not, this hopefully kickstart your preparation, your revision. Okay? I tell you what people don't tell you. All right? It's important to know all these things. All right? Okay, here we go. Uh, candidates should not attempt any test of, uh, other than specified on substances, except when it's appropriate to test for gas. Okay, so you will not any out test for thing unless they tell you, right? They say, add this to that, what you observe. So candidates should not attempt tests other than those specified on substances, except one case. This one. Except when it's appropriate to test for gas. They will never ask you to test for gas. Nine or ten times, you, you need to know when to test for gas. Make sense? Oh, I prepare lime water. I prepare moist, red limus, blue limus paper. They will never ask you to go and wet your limus paper. Wet or like that one. Don't have. Everyone okay? You're supposed to know. How do you know? You're supposed to know, right? You're supposed to know. All right. How do you supposed to know is based on what? Based on the procedure they mention. All right. The clue, how you know, is based on the procedure, the steps. All right. The steps. I what is added. And yes, this is the theory. Therefore, before your practical, what's added? All right. What's added? Before practical, I need you to go and revise those topics that are tested on practical. My own student, I tell you a long time ago, you should prepare a long time ago, revise rate. Yes? Can I run? All right, school, don't know, depend. If a teacher uh good enough, all right, they should remind you a long time ago. Okay? Then for three days, there's no way you can revise. So, so this is the time, you just got two weeks from here. Okay? Can I? Now, next up, uh, qualitative organic analysis. So organic chem, come on now. Seldom have also very little marks on, all right, but why not? Okay, requiring knowledge of simple organic reactions as outlined in topic 11 organic chemistry. But usually, which is the one I think this one because my A level also tells this one. All right, keep testing this one. Uh, your CC double bond, all right, CC double bond, you add what someone add aqueous bromine. So, what will you see? So, uh, I'm going to add aqueous bromine. Aqueous bromine is what color? Reddish brown, and therefore, what you see, of course, you will see this color change. The observation. Decolorization of a reddish brown bromine solution. Or your reddish brown solution turns colorless. Same thing. And that confirms that all right, the substance I'm testing on that add to is an alkene. It has a CC double bond. Okay, our section is recorded. Online students, so far so good. Can I get an emo icon at times up in case of four? See, you can't go and press on that one. Okay, I'm going to press, press, press. You like to press that thing, right? I like you press. Press the one, fly out one even better. All right. Nice, Emily, flying away. Okay, thank you. All right, so very, very simple. Uh, 
kind of conclusion, observation conclusion, right? So, hey, change color, therefore, I have an alkene, it's unsaturated, there's CC double bond, blah, blah, blah. Now, uh, they say this list is not exhaustive, but almost exhausted already, in a way, all right? Candidates are also expected to be familiar to use a data logger. This one, a data logger used before, not? Unless your school very rich, you never have one at your school, okay? Data logger. What is data logger? Data logger is a what? It's a computer screen, okay? Data logger means lock the data. So it's a computer screen. Then you have like a probe. So data logger can be what? It can be used to measure pH. Data logger can be used to measure electrical conductivity. Two most common ones in chemistry. So you have a probe. Correct? Okay. Huh? Now, where you usually will come out, I would say hands on. Your school can't be one person have one, right? Right? Or one, then the whole class going to queue for it. Doesn't make sense. Everyone feel practical already. So they'll come out as where? In planning. Okay, so put it in, there's your one mark. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what the SEAB prepared for you. To tell you what is in your Cambridge GCE O-Level Pure Chem exams. And equivalents. Okay, Ken, all right. So let me show you something else.